Hi, everybody. How are you? I have a new book. I want to start at the back and then go back to the beginning. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just being guided to do that. So, I am going to read chapter seven. Thy kingdom come. There is no time like the present to be fully in the presence of the new creation. There is no poverty but that which withholds the giving and receiving of love. Nothing is lost when the kingdom is gained. To be the kingdom is to enact the kingdom. To enact the kingdom is to participate fully conscious in the new creation. The world server is asked to sacrifice the needs of the ego, but it is no real sacrifice to trade in the soul's suffering for joy. Likewise, there is no real sacrifice to trade in the devastation and tragedy of war for the peace that is brought about through harmony. Where is the great loss of trade? Where is the great loss to trade in self-imposed limitations for more freedom of spiritual expression? Will you continue down the dead-end and well-trodden path of the ego rather than soar on the wings of the dove? Will you plod through the density of your own fear-based creations or ascend to heaven's glory? Providence is the road that leads you home. Shelter in the arms of the divine is your protection ever and always. Fear is only a shadow that the ego casts upon your path. Why must ye of the light continue to cower from the illusions of your own paltry shadow? Images of fear are but wisps of smoke that disappear in a brightly sun-filled sky. Visions of beauty shine in the light of the eternal. Would you choose to serve images of fear over that of visions of beauty? Bring forth the visions of beauty upon the landscape and see the reflection of your own true countenance. To prepare the way is to be the way. A welcome home is only a reminder that you never left. That which is sought is gained tenfold, but that which is waylaid is but the ego's decoy. There is no war other than war with yourself. Hence, go forth to meet yourself and make peace right away. Prayer asks for that which you feel you cannot accomplish or attain. Claiming your power is the answer and fulfillment to all of your prayers. Prayer is only the prelude to knowing it is already accomplished. Prayer sets the tone for humility in receiving, but knowing it is already accomplished brings about the desired results. It is not to say that prayer should be negated or neglected, but to understand that it is just one step along your path to learn of the humility that brings you to the center point of the full mastery of knowing. Humility is powerful, for it is through humility that you recognize the true power at source. Like children playing with fire, it is always best to approach the power at source with great humbleness as you learn to harness the potent powers of creation with harm to none. When a greater understanding of power is realized, even the master bows in awe before the presence of its source, for it is within that very understanding that power reveals itself to be infinitely omnipotent. 
So we say to you, those who are able to approach the inner sanctum will only do so in great humility, for to do otherwise will keep the gates to the outer courtyards bolted and locked through your own ego arrogance. It is an assault in the face of divine love for any ego's arrogance to claim omnipotence. For to claim such is to show forth the ignorance of the ego's limitations. Therefore, the ego must be humbled while the higher self exudes the power of creation through the love that is divine. To sit at the threshold of the Holy of Holies is to accept your scepter of power upon the thrones of the principalities. Those who sit in powerful command on the thrones of the principalities hold governance over the many creation fields. Do not wait to be invited, for you will linger in trepidation at heaven's gate. Whosoever stands bold in the light inherits the kingdom, and whosoever inherits the kingdom acquires the power to bring forth its rewards. Those who give the rewards away in the humble sharing that is the truth of mastery are the wealthiest of the wealthy. Intangible gifts are far more precious in their essence than all the belongings the ego bargains for. Be alert that the ego is the reflective part of you that is always longing for more belongings and is unaware that it is really only longing to belong to the wholeness that is divine love at source. Welcome yourself home in the arms of your own divinity. Popularity is the notoriety of the personal ego, but glory is the hallmark of the saint. A saint can walk among thieves and not be robbed. Likewise, thieves can sit among saints and be repentant. Penance is the revolving door of self-punishment, while sincere forgiveness is the elevator. Misery loves company, but whose company does it keep? It is deemed better to be in the company of one visionary dreamer than a million cynics. A visionary dreamer has the gift of inspiration to impart, but a cynic will rob you blind of your own inner sight and leave you bereft. Being in the presence of a saint is a rare gift to be treasured for saints and a rare treasure in your world. Each stride toward saintliness is a step well taken. Strength of purpose is strength of mind, body, and soul. When these three are aligned, accomplishment of truth is at hand. A heart on fire is far more warming than the rays of a million suns. Purity of heart and mind is purity of the soul. If once a heart be broken in two, it will love twice as strong. Love is flexible and flows like water over rock. It is the ego that resists being bathed in love's soothing waters. When the dam of the ego's making breaks free, the pure waters will flow forth once more across the arid landscape of consciousness. Now do you see which part of your life, which part of your little mind invented and inflicts damnation? Words hold more powerful resonance and meaning than you can still grasp with your minds. Do you not yet see how the word itself will bind you or will free you? Whichever meaningful words you give your will over to will either bind you or set you free. 
All words have meaning encoded in their numeric formulas. All is number. All is resonant frequency. Resonance to the frequency of divine love and divine love is its own reward. Actually, it said resonate to the frequency of divine love and divine love is its own reward. Speak forth only words that uplift and regenerate. Speak forth only words that resonate the truth and the truth shall set you free. Wariness is but a nuisance of the negative mind. How can there be truth in wariness when the energy of creation is infinite and self-sustaining? Step into the fountain of unceasing energy at source to rejuvenate your spirit and nourish your soul. Then try and deny the power that courses through your multidimensional bodies. Replenishment is ever a gift you can indulge in as refreshment is its complement. Those who waver upon the battle lines of indecision are fearful of their power to choose. So the choice is made for them by the limiting voice of the ego. Confinement to this cage does not keep you safe, but only keeps you from your own freedom. Invite only happiness in where sadness lurks at your door. Leave the door wide open when love comes knocking, but let not sorrow take one step over the threshold. Wallow not in the shallow waters of self-pity, but sink to the depths of eternal love to land upon the shores of evermore. Where you are going, sorrow cannot enter. Where you have been, sadness knows the way. Which footsteps will you walk in and which are truly your own? Wishing is fanciful, but knowing is supreme. Wish not, waste not, for wishing is a waste of energy. Wonder never ceases when amazement is its companion. Cravings cannot be satisfied or satiated, but passion is its own fulfillment. All illusions of paucity are shattered through gaining the kingdom. Who of you can say you are truly ever alone? One is never alone when the one is embodied everywhere. In the eyes of the other is the reflection of the self. In the eye of God is the truth that you are. This I that is all seeing is all knowing. This I is your I, for there is only one I. When you arrive at the center of this truth, you will know that there is always more to know. Paradox abounds, and this is the wonder of knowing you will always arrive right back where you began. And to begin again is to have never left. This is the beautiful dance that is the power of creation. Pettiness is best, best ignored, for to give it attention is what the ego desires. To serve the ego's desire is the disempowerment of your powerful truth at source. The only illusion is the ego's limited perceptions. All else is real. Remove the veil of illusion that your ego covers upon your eyes, that see double and behold the reality of the singular power that awaits your command. Mistakes are only the bane of ill-begotten thoughts run amok. Would thou entertain thoughts of darkness when love ever beckons you 
to the safety of its light. Every word counts, and every action has its consequence. Will you be the word in manifestation that speaks the truth, or cower in the shadows of deceiving yourself from the truth of your very own essential nature? Who of all of you will command the word to be sent forth to do your bid on behalf of the almighty source of creation? Where are the courageous ones that dare to step out of the shadows of their own unconscious makings? When the legions of light are assembled, will your name be among them? The signs and symbols are impressed upon your brow. Symbols will lead you home. Like familiar landmarks along the way, let them reveal your truth. Like familiar landmarks, oh, sorry. A million lies will never add up to one truth. Don't give credence where credence is not, credence is not merited. Give due honor where honor is due. Likewise, receive due honor where honor is due. What you give to others, you give to yourself. But no, this is not just another catchphrase of the ages, for this is the truth in all actions set forth. Your thoughts and emotions are like boomerangs. And why is it that when they come back to hit you on the head, you blame someone else for tossing them? Send out love, and when it comes to caress your weary head and rest it on the shoulders of strength, will you see then that it is your own spiritual fortitude that you stand upon and find refuge in? You are made of the very substance of divine love. And when you look to the masters, you will see that we already celebrate your existence in harmony. We patiently await each moment you come closer to the truth. We ever walk alongside you, even though you relegate us to the shadows of mystery. We proclaim that it is you that are the mystery, for you are the new creation that has never been, and the heavens await your arrival. Externalization of the kingdom assures that no one goes for want. Walk in the land of plenty, and there is nothing for want. As each being quells their anger, where will there be room for enemies? As each individual stands in the center of their own empowerment, who will be left to abuse their personal power and hold their power sway over others? As each being steps out of the shadows of fear and into the brilliance of the light, where will fear find a home? The rewards of the world server are greater beyond your most fanciful imaginings. Gifts of the soul cannot be measured in numbers for the soul is the landscape of infinity. Rewards of the heart far outshine the temporary temptations of ego desire. Temptation is the poison of the temporal world. Restitude is the antidote. Restitude. The greatest rewards come from the least amount of effort for the great work is fueled by cosmic energy. This does not mean that the tasks will be few and far between. The great work is ever upon you both in leisure and in task, but this does not imply struggle. Energy employed towards the goal of divine plan is aligned with the source. Reaping a bounty must not be the focal point when the aim is towards uplifting. 
Bounty and plentitude are the inherent nature of the source. The worker in the light, aligned with the source, already has everything they need to carry out the work. Rise to the occasion and collect your rewards. A high resonance reflects a bountiful, bountiful existence. We do not imply this to mean that you need more wealth than you can distribute. For unless you can distribute all wealth fairly and evenly, why would you need to acquire more than you need? You cannot receive but that which is no more than that which you can contain and once more give forth. This is the law of creation. Uh, as all is energy, you can only manifest to the degree of power that you, your consciousness can contain and harness the energy. To be the planetary body, you must be able to contain all of the inherent energy inherent within the creation of a planet within your conscious focus. By this, we do not refer to simply the limitations of the four dimensions and the four kingdoms of the earth plane. There are far more energies at play than you can witness through the eyes that see double. The limitations of your boundaries are the limits of your supply. We speak of the rewards of the soul and of the means to create more beauty in the world, not necessary, more meaningless things. A thing of beauty is a thing to behold, but anything less is wasted space where true beauty could take its place. With grace, you shall proceed to walk through the garden and the garden will blossom underneath your feet. Joy will spring from the fountains where once the sorrow did flow. Ingenuity is the mother of the new creation. Proficiency is the father. Beauty is the offspring. In the depths of beauty are treasures rare and unique to each individuated soul. Merging these tre treasures together in group soul effort sires an entire garden of blossoming hues. Idealized vision shines in the light of the infinite and splashes across eternity in a prism array of crystallized form. Crystalline bodies within the crystal cities of light refract and refract and reflect the brilliance of the beautiful colors of creation made manifest. Truth that shines clarity shines in the eye that is singular. Merging and mingling of spiritual essences re-emerges as the new creation. Glory be to all made manifest in the light that is divine love. In your world, many view money as the value that is placed upon anything that is deemed of use or of service. There is nothing inherently wrong with valuing the energy of exchange through goods and services. Understand that it is but a reflection and a lesson to learn the value of worth. Values reflect their worth. What is the value of beauty, grace, dignity, or integrity? What is the worth of intuition, knowledge, truth, or wisdom? We are here to tell you that they are worth their weight in silver and gold but we do not refer to the precious metals mined from the bosom of your earth. Why do you suppose the gold and silver hold a high price in your world? What gives them the value that humanity seeks? Can you not see the clarity of the solar gold light and the lunar silver light that blends in the sacred alchemy to create the very essence of your being? Stop and ponder just when it was that the ego has transferred the value of the spiritual essence inherent in the human being onto the metals mined from the earth. 
Why do you suppose a diamond is placed in high value? Having transformed and transmuted from coal to precious gem, it reflects clearly the many facets of the one. The emergence of the diamond from the coal teaches the creation miracle of transformation, transmutation, and transfiguration. Clarity of truth is a beauty beyond any limitations of value. What is the precious value of the human life? How is it that human life has come to be so devalued? When brother rises against brother and claims the land as bounty, who among you will claim the kingdom within? Shift your perception of values and worth, and the kingdom will be made manifest. Rise above the status quo to set a new standard of values and worth. Be the valuable and worthy one and treat everyone likewise. Precious are those that see the spiritual value in all things. Wondrously wealthy are those that feel the bounty of love, flowing forth from the heart of hearts. Pure are those that walk in the clear light of unconditional love. Within the task accomplished are the rewards you seek. The worker in the wilderness will find sustenance in the sweet breath of garden nectars. The worker that, who labors long in the garden will find rest as their reward. Whosoever digs deep to plant seeds will uncover the treasures of the soul. The worker who weeds out negative thoughts will find the clarity of ultimate truth. Whosoever prunes the tree reaps the most fruit in its season. Those who walk gently upon the land will make the most impact. The worker with the diligence to see all things through will see clearly through all things. Those that push forcefully to move the obstinate boulders will discover the ease of surrender and release. Whichever worker reaches the finish line first will be the first to move the finish lines of imaginary boundaries even further. Since there is no finish line, expansion of consciousness is its own reward forever and each day. Those who stretch the muscles of consciousness will gain the strength of their spiritual fortitude. Those who are reverent are the revered. Whosoever walks in the brilliance of their light will cast no shadow. Those who speak the highest truth will see through all lies. The one who seeks is the one that is found. Whosoever shall claim their full creative power will inherit the throne at the threshold of the Holy of Holies to take their rightful place as a master creator God being. The fruits of your labor are to be shared with all, for there is no lack or want in the kingdom made manifest. There is nothing that another has that you need, for all that you need springs forth from the source within to pour upon the land. In the external manifestation of the kingdom, all that is required is to offer and receive the many gifts of love. Being attuned to the one source is to be resourceful. Resources are abundant and eternal. Nothing is lacking in the kingdom other than your own faith and trust in the source of all creation. How is it that a tree sprouts from the seed and brings forth an endless supply of fruit. The fruit once more drops its seed in the soil to bring forth a new life. Within the seed of the fruit of life is the reality of the endless abundance that creation is. The man who owns one fruit tree 
is as rich as the man who owns an orchard for all one man needs is one fruit tree to continue the life cycles of creation. How is it that the wind blows through the trees, rustling the leaves? How is it that you are conscious and alive? Life is the gift that keeps giving more life. Life springs forth from life. Eternal life springs forth from divine source and divine source is alive and well. Your life and consciousness springs forth from divine source. So therefore you are alive and well. How long will you continue to deny your eternal and infinite divinity? How long will you continue to deny the abundance that life is? When you embody this as truth, you will be the one to fulfill the prophecies. We do not mean to imply that you need to seek the money and riches of your world. Material riches are a reflection that the source is ever abundant and giving. It is our way of showing you that you already lay claim to the kingdom of abundance, that life is for you. You are life itself. You are the solution to all your endeavors for you are the solar fire. You are the essence for you are the response to your soul's deepest desire. When the master steps forth, the waves shall part. We make reference of the resonant waves of harmonic frequency, as well as the metaphoric analogy with the miracles of the masters that came before you. A master conducts the waves to create a symphony, as well as parting the sea of consciousness to make new paths home. What you may perceive as abstract concept, the master sees as reality. Shift your perception and see through the eye that is singular and the waves of harmonic resonance will sing a new song. New worlds, new words with a new resonance will echo the refrain and build upon the waves to manifest in the creation fields of the new dawn and the new day. Make your song a lullaby of intention to soothe the angry and hurting. Lift your voice upon the resonant waves and sing the world into harmony. Make a way station for the soul to find its rest and reprieve from your long suffering. Be the color palette of the new creation and splash yourself across the void in ever-changing hues. What once was is no more in the history of repetition, for the cycles have been transcended. What will be is the will to be infinitely and eternally. This is the key to your mastery and you hold the key. Whatever you see need, wherever you see need, fulfill it. Wherever you see the hungry, offer sustenance. Wherever you see the wounded, heal their wounds. Wherever you see heartache, soothe it. Wherever you see tears, dry them. Wherever you see fears, ease them. Wherever you see loneliness, offer friendship. Wherever you see suffering, ease the pain. Wherever you see the downtrodden, uplift their spirits. Wherever you see wantonness, hold your vision higher. Wherever you see thoughtlessness, be thoughtful. Wherever you see ignorance, offer wisdom. Wherever you see corruption, be just. Wherever you see emptiness, fill it with meaning. Wherever you see loss, bring forth abundance. Wherever you see lies, 
be the truth. Wherever you see ugliness, create beauty. There is a solution to every need. There is a fulfillment to every longing. You are the solution. You are the fulfillment. You are the gift. You are the reward. You are the power to transform your world. You have everything you need at your fingertips. Within the heart of hearts is a treasure trove of gifts to bring forth into the world. Step forward, O ye who are to birth the new formation, for you are information. You are the living libraries of the wisdom of the ages that were already and the wisdom yet to be born. The treasures are already available to you, but you must claim them. They must be claimed from within and brought forth to your world, thus ensuring the externalization of the kingdom. Paths in the kingdom are paved with the golden bricks of solar illumination, and the multidimensional fabric is braided with the silver cords of truth. Yours is the kingdom for now and evermore. The scepter of power is now in your hand. Will you raise it high above your head or hide it in your cloak of earthly delight? Masters are not created in a day. Yet it takes only a moment to attain mastery. Power is in the moment of choice. Each moment of choice births worlds within worlds. Each world is a multidimensional universe. Truth is in the paradox, just as paradox gives birth to truth. Happiness is the prelude to joy. Joy gives birth to ecstatic bliss, where ripples in the pool, which ripples in the pools of eternity, pulsing out the harmonic rhythm of creation. Each layer of conscious evolution builds on these foundations and exponentially increases in intensity. Light builds upon light and refracts and reflects brighter still. Light makes up the building blocks of creation, and it is to this truth that you will come to know and embody. What will you build upon the new foundation of being? Prosperity is the cosmic design for what is there in all of creation that cannot flourish in a love so divine. Your roots are watered in the depths of your soul. Now will your spirits bring forth the fruits from this tree of life. From the deep still waters pour forth an endless tide of blessings. Beatitude becomes you. Diamonds of clarity shine in your mind's eye. Wellsprings of wisdom wash over your feet as you, you walk the path of knowing. Purity of heart cleanses the waters of life, life, and the waters of life flow forth to nurture the land. Joy resounds with its echoing refrain forever and a day. Peace through harmony is its song. Lift the voice of your soul to sing and witness the colorful tones of the new creation. You are the new creation. Walk now anew through the bountiful garden of idealized dreams made manifest. Within the golden solar light of the great central sun, the soul is bathed in its glorious remnant. Walk in the golden remnant of the light that you are and are always becoming. Shine your radiant splendor in its fullest glory. The light that is and ever shall be forever shines its brilliance. 
and you will always and forever add light to the light that is already. The golden cities are in the palm of your hand. The power of creation awaits your command. You are the light that your world awaits. Be the truth. Walk the truth. Live the truth. And the truth will be known. Step into mastery. Know it is already accomplished. a really interesting book and I will be reading from the beginning it does have pictures and root syllables in here but there's quite a bit of information here that's fascinating to me so please join me for the next that was just the last chapter but please join me for this book Architects of Light. I wanted to switch it up a little bit because the last one was about mind control. So I thought, okay, we need to do something a little bit brighter, a little bit shinier. Um, yeah. So I hope you're having a beautiful evening wherever you are, daytime, nighttime. Sending you so much love. Peace be with you on this journey. Love you. Bye.